Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, I know this video is away from the regulars that I've been doing, but I thought that a lot of you might want to know how to do this. But on today's episode, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a leather face mask with just a few easy steps. And when I say like easy steps, I mean like easy like you find at home or you can easily go to Walmart and just buy, no problem. But I have all the stuff that you'll need laid out right here and I will show you what to use, how to use it, good ways to use it, and then I'll show you the outcome. Okay, to start this off, we're going to be talking about the mask itself, what it's going to be made out of. A lot of people think it's gross, but I mean for something that you want to look like skin or old skin, this is the best way to go besides using latex and stuff because that gets very tricky. You ready for this? Yeah, a dog bone. A lot of you might think it's crazy, but yeah, the dog bone. Literally, the dog bones are the cheapest and most effective way to go. I mean, I got this big bag full of them for like $5. I mean, you can't beat that. And if you do want to try it at home and it happens to fail, just give the dog, just give the bones to your dog. I mean, hey, it's a win-win. Either it's a win-win for you or a win-win for the dog or win-win for both of you. You never know. You never know how it rolls. But also a disclaimer. Do not use a dog bone that your dog has been chewing on because then that's when it starts to get really gross but I'm gonna go ahead and start and tell you how to do it and that's what y'all all came here for so yeah you just take the dog bone simple as that you know and just fill the sink of water yet again it does not have to be full all the way for it to unravel because it just it don't have to be but when you are done soaking your bone in water, this sounds so god awful. It's literally, it, it's just, it's maneuverable. And then you can go like this. And that right there is what's going to be the base for the skin. And I would suggest if you're going to be doing any type of molding or whatever with it, go ahead and do it while it's wet because it does get hard really quick. And it will get where if it's too hard, it's not maneuverable and you can't do the stuff that you need to do with it. Okay, next step. I don't know what you have or, or like around you, but I don't have a clay casting or a lot of people use clay casting whenever it comes to masks because that's your face. But I literally just went to Hobby Lobby and picked up one of these mannequin heads or whatever and it works perfectly fine for what you need to do. And it's pretty much just you lay the bone over the face. Why? I mean, why it's still wet, of course. You just lay it over the face and then for like the eyes or anywhere that you want the areas to be, you know, like really seeable and noticeable, just use like this wire and just stick it down in through there and turn it at an angle and it will bring out the facial features and just with everything else around the nose and stuff, you just use these little thumbtacks. I don't know if you can see that, it ain't focusing, but... These little thumbtacks you just stick them all through the face and you'll have just let it dry I the best time to do this is during the day of course sun beat down on it and it dries a lot quicker and you can get to work done quicker but I'm gonna show you one that I just finished cutting out and everything and I'll show you what this went to and turned to this right here is one that I've done today. It's not nothing, you know, special or whatever. You can either do a half mask or you can do a full face mask. It's 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 totally up to you. It works the same way. You just, you know, have to use a lot more dog bones. But I'm going to turn this into a full face mask and it's just, you know, this pretty much the same exact thing and use a wood burner for like where you're going to stitch it up at because it goes best into the bone and you just stitch it all together and i mean it ain't nothing perfect and obviously i'm not going with no movie accurate look i'm making my own look out of it if you're wanting a movie accurate look there's only one thing that i can really say about that for a mo for a movie accurate look your your best bet's not to make it your best bet is to go online and buy one. You can go for a cheap version, which made out of cheap latex, and it, 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 it stinks. But 
uh, you could also go for a good. It's it's a good company. You you, but they 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 do tend to price it some. There's this place called Trick or Treat Studios, and you they have so many masks, and they have a bunch of leather face masks. I think they have one for every single movie, but they tend to cost sixty to eighty dollars, whatever one you're wanting. I mean, that's not too bad, but some people, they don't want to pay that for, like, a quick Halloween costume. For a quick Halloween costume, you can't beat that. I mean, you know, if you don't want it, give it to your dog. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it, it it's saving you money. Now, if you're not understanding what I'm talking about with the uh, full head, I'm going to show you one that I've done. Now this one right here is a recent one that I've done. I, I've done it like a lot of work to it. I think I worked on it maybe two or three days ago. It's I mean, it's not nothing perfect. And of course, it ain't straight from the movie. I don't want it to be a movie accurate thing. I mean, from what I've known, none of them look like this in the movie. I just wanted to have my own leather face look and what I think it would look like. Because I like how the hair comes over. You just... I bought the hair at Michael's. You can go to your nearest one, you, anywhere where you can find just cheap hair. Use it with a little bit of super glue. Of course, make sure you use gloves because it tends to get a little bit uh, sticky there. But that with a little bit of paint and a little bit of application and stuff. And I mean, you really can't beat that. I mean, it's not movie accurate. But if you see that coming towards you, you you're not going to be jolly and happy. And what I do suggest with wearing it wise, if you're going to wear it, um, of course, I do suggest you stitch it. Don't super glue it. Just, you know, go through the trouble of stitching it because it's going to make it last longer. But in a lot of the movies, they use lace to tie it at the back. Well, I found it's a lot easier to Velcro it. And then you can just put your head through there, connect your ear there, and then... Velcro it as tight as you need it in your face. It's stuck in there and I'm about to show you what it looks like wear wise and how it fits and everything. So if my voice is kind of muffled, my apologies, but I'm going to show you kind of what the mask looks like on with everything bone. Okay, and here it is now on the face and everything. And I mean, for it to literally, every part of this is just bone. It's this, just a little bit of work and a little bit of pain, a little bit of cutting. It's really nothing at all. I mean, the hair, there's nothing to put on. Stitching, of course, this ain't no perfect stitch, but I wanted it to have more dirty stitching. But with a little bit of paint and everything like this, you tend to get some good scares. And at a cheap price, you know, you can use it for years. It's no problem. And, I mean, I think that... A lot of people should go with this route. I mean, you know, a lot of people like movie accuracy. And don't get by me. I love movie accuracy. But if you're... I like making my own characters too. And this is my own character of Leatherface. It's my own... The way that I want to see him in a film. And I think it would be... that this, The way that this looks, I think that it just... If I see it coming at me, I'm scared shitless. I mean, it's as simple as that. And literally to take it off, all you got to do is... Unsnap that Velcro and then pull it off. It's that simple. So I hope you guys got an idea and at least are going to try this because, I mean, it, 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 it it's a fun project. It really is. Just it's the feeling of, you know, making something of your own that you you just you're proud of. And that's what I like about it. So I'm hoping for the people who horror fanatics as I am are going to try to make their own leather face and send them to me. I Hey, just show them off. I want to see them. You just, you try to make them and I want to see them. I think it'd be cool. I, lo I love seeing people's work and seeing people's view on other things. Like, it, it, I love it. So, anybody that's watching this that really wants to take on this challenge well it ain't much of a challenge but still take on this challenge do it 
and show me what you come up with. If you need any help, just if if you know me personally, I'll help you along the way. But still, I want to see what y'all got. But I do truly hope that this helped out some of you that was wanting a Halloween costume this year. If the cough cough has not changed at all. But I'm hoping that this did help y'all out with some sort of a costume. Or if you were just wanting to make your own mask but didn't know how to. That's the best way, that, in, in my eyes, the cheapest way too of doing it. And on the fact of cutting like the eye holes and the mouth holes... I suggest using an X-Acto knife and scissors. I mean, it's the easiest thing. You know, you can get however big eye holes you want, however big mouth hole you want. It's just, you know, it's up to you with however you use this. And by the way, with this, you know, it, it's sharp. Just because you want to make something from a horror movie don't mean you need to be in one. But I hope this helped y'all out, and I hope y'all have an amazing day, and I hope to see some of y'all's work because I, I, I love it. But I hope y'all have a good day and I'll talk to y'all later.